Welcome to Trekkie Talks. I'm Maya Schneider. Over the last few years, we've brought you a variety of topics on Trekkie Talks, ranging from arts and music to politics and current events. Well, today we're doing something a little different. We're turning the cameras around inside the studios at Channel 6, and we're going to show you what goes on here and how you might be able to get involved. And today, it's my very deep pleasure to introduce to you somebody that you should have met three years ago when I first started, John Eccles. John, it's really great to have you on the show. Thanks. Very John nice is an instructor with the Tahoe Truckee Unified School District and the head of ROP. And as you say, you are the manager of uh, Channel 6 here. Mm -hmm. So it's really great to have you on the show. Well, it's nice to be on this side. I, I'm not so sure how nice. I'm a little nervous about <laughs> it. <yeah. laughs> well, it gives you a level yes. of empathy for all the rest Instead of our of guests. Back there. Yeah. I want to mention, too, before we get far into the show, that we will be hosting an open house on November 10th. Mm -hmm. And that will be from 4 to? From 4 to 7. Okay. And we'll feature live broadcast, three-hour live broadcast with music and interviews and some tapes to show what goes on, some food, and, and uh, just a chance for everybody to see what is going to happen here for the public. This is, will be a great opportunity to come down and see the studios. And we'll talk about that more at the end of the show. But I wanted to make sure that we got that plug in right away. John, let's talk a little bit about the history of Channel 6 and how you got involved. It's an interesting history because um, for most of the time that West Star had the franchise um, since the late 70s, there was a local origination channel, Channel 6, and it's gone through many stages and evolutions. Just the plain old, uh, very simple computerized notice board where you'd go and into the office there and have that done. Um, so that's what it was for many, many years. And then a couple of groups have taken it as a, as a ability to try local programming and local news, and it's gone in and out of a couple of hands. At one point, Vita Blue was a sportscaster on a, on a news show here about 15 years ago. And it, then it's gone back to the computerized board. About six or seven years ago, um, there was a person who ran it as a business for themselves and got advertising and, and got more, um, a more sophisticated look to it. And we got involved by offering ROP programming on there and classroom programming, and they started, we started mixing our functions a little. And finally, this person wanted to go elsewhere, and we said, why don't we take this over? And four weeks later, the school board approved it, and we had a channel to run. So the school, Tahoe Trekkie Unified School District, and, and quite literally you, run Channel 6. That's correct. And lease that back from... There's, a, there's an agreement in place, and now it's a little more complicated because of the more recent um, franchise agreement. And so we'll um, talk about that too. And we'll, we'll be talking about that, but we are the designated uh, agency for running the channel by the town of Truckee. And the town of Truckee has been designated by the agreement, the way I understand it, from USA Media. And of course, if you write. wanted to sift through all of that to paperwork, write, exactly, you could do that. Which you know very well. John, one of the things that people see at the end of the show during credits, not only for Trekkie Talks, but any other programming, or most other programming, is ROP, 49er ROP. Mm -hmm. Explain what that is. Um, 49er ROP is one of the many regional occupational programs in the state. It's like a layer of, of another school district all, all over the state for juniors and seniors in high school and adults to get basic job skills. Our uh, attachment with Channel 6 is, is that we have a video production ROP up here, part of Plaster, Nevada County ROPs. And so the students, uh, and there's four of them here today, the students learn video production in the classroom and then also do uh, video production in conjunction with Channel 6 in, in lots of ways. And I think it's important to point out really that this is real school to work, hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. It's the real thing. It, it's the idea of it is to, to provide that experience. People don't necessarily understand that we don't have a crew or a paid staff of people behind the cameras and in the production booth. Would you talk a little bit about what people might see when they come in and see a show being taped? Who's, who's running the cameras? Who's running the cameras? Right now, we have Tim and Morgan behind the cameras. They're ROP students, <laughs> Tim Moriarty, Morgan Miller. And in the control room behind there, which we're going to see in a, in a few minutes with a camera, um, we do have our Channel 6 employee, who is a paid employee, half time. That's Peter Fletcher. Um, and Chris Meredith, Meredith is on audio back in there also. Uh, there's a room full of equipment with audio equipment and a switcher, a production switcher. And they're back there on headsets. 
uh, telling the camera people what to do and making remarks about how we look and, uh, <laughs> you know, who knows what. So making uh, they're making it all weekend, happen too. shot to shot with yeah. the graphics. And they would see a crew. It, for certain productions, it takes up to eight people to s have the studio um, running properly. And again, with the exception of you and Peter Fletcher, these are all students. These are all, all students. getting hands-on experience. Yeah, and they're very, very competent people. They very, we're very lucky. much we're, are. We're lucky to be able to um, have them do, that's a, uh, probably a kind way for them to hear it, have them do 15 hours yeah. each extra. Yeah. Um, and that's how we're able to have them here, too. Well, of course, yes. one of the places we see the students is at the uh, town council meetings right. and exactly. uh, taping those meetings, staying until the very bitter end. Wouldn't, wouldn't happen. It, you know, some of them get the hour and a half meetings. <laughs> some of them get the five hour meetings. Some it's of them like get a their lottery. Full 15 hours it's like a lottery, night. right. Yeah. So um, I think that has also built a, a big sense of, of uh, confidence with the community about the students working and just that there they are every time to do these, uh, to do these meetings. And that's how those meetings happen. John, you may not have the answer to this off the top of your head, but I'm oh. curious. Do you know how many students have graduated from this program? Um, 10 years, yeah. 40 a year. Yeah. That's great. So 400 to 500. That's tremendous. Yeah. That's really great. Yeah. What kinds of shows are currently being produced on Channel 6? You know, it's a real variety. And I, I started, I sat down to look at this before the show because we've got put a little tape together. and. Um, there is just this wide gamut of programming. We've mentioned the, um, the board meetings mm -hmm. and the education board meetings are also on here. Truckee Talks, the talk show, the Humane Society show, we're taping them tomorrow morning. Um, the, here's an example, the villager produced a show on gardening and uh, other outside eight people have come in. This is a Truckee Talks that was on the, um, on the go, it was a location. Go, you guys got to go up to all the ski areas and take a look at it. So it was we a able lousy to day. Oh gosh, you <laughs> look like you're having a terrible time. And we're able to do this production. Peter shot this and get it edited here, put the shows together. And this is what this is what the public has to look forward to being able to do once they learn some of these skills. We do a lot of school things. The Senior Fashion Show is a big event that we help uh, them raise money by producing a very professional looking tape that they sell. And this is for Project Graduation. Lots of school things. Lots of interest locally making movies. This was produced by some people locally, uh, this particular movie. And uh, we want to let people know that that's also a possibility to, to make original films. A lot of school things. People like seeing people, their friends on TV and their kids. And this was a Glenshire production. We've done Truckee Elementary productions. We've done high school productions. We can get them out there on Channel 6. Individuals have come in to do their own. Uh, Jody did a historical uh, show, a show on the history um, using a Caltrans tape. Another local was interested in asthma, and he put together a show on asthma. And we're looking for people who are interested in things to come in and learn how to do these. AAUW every year does the Women in History series where they do a marvelous job of acting out characters. We've done musical productions. This was a barbershop show a couple of years ago. Um, and these were some people actually from another area. Um, we do business or the meetings. This was school board meetings, town of Truckee type things. We get all kinds of requests. Um, the spring musical gets taped. We have a feed to the new studio from the auditorium so we can do two camera productions with the switching right here. So I hope more groups like the ballet groups and dance groups will get volunteers in here to help produce their programming and show it on Channel 6. It's community programming, letting people know your ideas, your, uh, the things you're doing. Lo uh, we can do production on location and edit together pieces on just things that happen. And uh, we also, this, I love this little thing we do every year with the first graders who come in and tell about a book that they've read. And they, it, it's just a crack up to watch them and to, to see them trying so hard uh, to get this just right. <laughs> so it's a, it's a wide gamut of programming. These are great shows. And, and John, people, I think, really need to hear, again, we need to reiterate that people can come in and produce a show. They don't need to sit back and wait for Channel 6 to mm -hmm. come to them. In fact, they can create something and bring it here. That's right. And that's the whole thrust of the new studio, Truckee Tahoe Community Television, is going to become available to the public, to groups, to nonprofits, to people who have a point of view they would like to share, uh, to people who have something they want to show how to do, or a skill, or a talent, or put together a show that's a talk show. And that's, that's the mandate that I feel we have uh, for the money we got to build this studio. And beginning in early spring, as we'll talk about later, 
this will be open with certification workshops and be open in the evenings for the community to use. Truly community television. Truly community television. That's the goal. We're taking a look inside Channel 6. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back in just a minute with John Eccles. Welcome back to the show. We're taking an inside look at the Channel 6 studios with John Eccles. John, let's talk a little bit now about the facilities. You know, when I first came to Channel 6, we were in a trailer in the back of the school with a big round table and a microphone <laughs> right in the middle of the table. And really, we've come a long way since then. We certainly have. Talk yes. a little bit, if you will, about the studio, what we have now, what's coming, maybe, mm -hmm. and how we got here. And how we got here, right. Um, yeah, back in the modulars out there where <laughs> I remember we had to ice down the mi mics that got so hot That's in there right. one day. So, and you're on your about close to your 50th show, too, so we've come yeah. a long ways in all of this. Um, we got here in what was the old auto shop by way of a couple of routes. One is, as the schools are getting more crowded, those classrooms we were taking up were needed. So a couple of years ago, when the auto shop program closed down and the district didn't really have the money to rebuild $100,000 worth of, uh, of equipment it would take. Um, it was suggested that this, I could move out here. This would be a good spot to come. And I looked up at the ceiling and said, this is a perfect spot. <laughs> um, so the plan to move here was in place. Then, um, fortuitously, along came the franchise renewal agreement time with Westar and now USA Media with the town of Truckee. And the idea came up that if we want community TV, here's a great time to combine uh, funding from the, from the cable company to help start up the community TV. Um, and that could be discussed during the franchise agreement. And all of that came to pass, as we say. And, uh, and actually, it was a very fast agreement, as agreements go, too. And, and a lot got done in a very short period of time. Yes, it could have so taken a lot longer. That's right. And so there was a big presentation ceremony back in March, and we got a big check from USA Media mm -hmm. or, and West Star TV. Um, I, I remember, remember that. We have a picture of that of somewhere. Uh, there it is. $60,000 standing out in front of a bare, stripped-out auto shop. <laughs> it still actually had the lift in it and all kinds of things. So that was the starting point for us. And utilizing the theater tech class, students from my Channel 6 class, some volunteer help with some contractors, some contractors we paid to do some things that needed to be done, but those students uh, framed these 16-foot walls and, um, and built three of the walls and sheetrocked the smaller walls. Um, we, we just got this done with a lot of help and, and energy from a great deal of people, a, a lot of people. Our modular studio control rooms and edit bays came from a company in Los Angeles, and you just saw a picture of those people putting those up. Um, actually ordered them on the internet. If anybody whips out their, <laughs> their credit card to order on the internet, that was a big order that they got started on the internet with that company, and they did a great job. They worked very well. Um, of course, in the interim, John, Channel 6 is still bringing in some revenue. You've got some advertising revenue, and that was helping no. also. Th there, are, there are a couple of things that are still helping. That startup funds took care of the building part of this, the Trinity, which is a, a production switcher, part of some new cameras and things like that. Then the, the money we get that's the advertising and that, uh, you know, the students make the ads. Mm -hmm. I have a class that, that runs Channel 6. And that revenue stream helps a lot to support uh, basic equipment things and pays Peter's salary and uh, pays students in the summer to run this, by the way, too. Um, and then there's also some funds coming in as an operation budget for community TV, and that's uh, on the cable bill as part of the franchise agreement. So you see that right on yes. your bill. Yes, and that's another half-time hire, too. Mm -hmm. We will have a person who run it, runs this in the evenings and runs the workshops and contacts the community on this. Oh, so now if it we will could be just something get a news broadcast, John. And, you know, that's been on the horizon for a long time. It just hasn't gotten too much closer, but I think it's, I think we will see that. Uh, my, my vision is we would like to see it. I think people would love to see it. Um, and I see it happening because of the facility we have here. And so and I can USA just tell media. you there are talks. USA Media that's right. uh, is interested mm -hmm. and very interested in having that kind of programming. And so I see it as something that just needs to start falling together um, funding for advertising and all that. Well, John, yeah. it really wouldn't be fair to talk about the studio and not be able to show okay. the studio. And we've got a pretty cool treat today. We've got the ability to show you the inside of Channel 6. Yeah. 
So we've got a live cam. If John, you'll That's walk right. us so through that. So there we that. are. We've just switched back. Steve is uh, Steve Sexton is carrying his camera, and if you've seen David Hi Letterman, Steve. this is just like David Letterman That's with right. a live cam. Without the right, audience. exactly. <laughs> Okay. So, Steve, show us what we've got. So we can see it now. One, yeah, in this big room here that we're seeing, Steve, is, um, is 40 by 25 studio. And then we see our camera there's people our there. Camera just guys. like, you know, they, they, now you know they're supposed to get scale wage here <laughs> when they right. get on air. There's the control room. There's our and there's edit Peter room. And Bill Fernell, who's producing this segment, is back there. And um, we're able to see Peter standing up in there. There's Peter. That's right. There's Fletch. And so the, the studio is really very large. And can, we can have dance groups, music groups in here. We can do a lot of things. And what does it yeah, look like? Yeah, it's good. He's going to pan on back. Yeah. And you can see that we had some flats on uh, back on the back. There we are in the middle of our set. And then the back behind him is the Channel 6 area. So he's going to pan around and, and show us. And that's okay. We'll just get back. We'll get Go ahead and pan. Yeah. That's the Channel 6 office. And this is where students come in and do the graphics. Uh, Channel 6 goes live out of that rack over there and um, runs daily from here. So this is a really nice workable area for this also. It really takes a lot of equipment to run one channel. I don't it think really people does. really appreciate that. And if you go into a lot of public access and a lot of uh, the bigger ones, you see just tons of expensive equipment. And we're, we're getting by on, on things that work well, but are, are we're trying to be frugal and get equipment that's not the most, um, the most expensive kinds of things. This is into the control room now. Uh -huh. So we can see the Trinity is a computerized back production switcher with effects and graphics. <laughs> and there's our director sitting there. Our audio guy is, is pulling cable right now behind Steve. And we have our audio board of teleprompters, uh, record decks, all the things going on. Yeah. A lot and of equipment. It works really, it, it seems to work well. The whole setup seems to be working. And then we have edit bays that are enclosed. And oh, uh, Steve's going to show us some, some more views here. And, and then you can see how they can see out to the studio where we are there. And we okay. see that box we just can next to Peter. Peter too. That fancy box there that doesn't look like a whole lot. Looks like a re little refrigerator. What so the <laughs> heck is that box, that's, John? That's called the Trinity. It's made by Play Incorporated out of uh, Rancho Cordova. That contains <laughs> the guts of the video processing that allows Peter to switch back and forth, put graphics, do transitions, um, has some very sophisticated computerized uh, animation features. It really and is high tech. It's stuff. one of those things that this company puts out these these products that are just amazing. And um, there's sixty thousand dollars of stuff in that fourteen thousand dollar box. Wow. Okay. Wow. Video is expensive too. It now is. Be and behind Peter is there's an one of our edit bays. We have five enclosed edit bays with uh, three of them having nonlinear computerized edit setups, so that people uh, will be able to edit on a very, very easy to learn system because it's computer based. And uh, when they come in and see what they can put together, if they do an event in town, you know, from hikes to, to um, things that happen in town, to sports, to whatever, they can come in, edit it, and put it on Channel 6. Well, John, this is exciting stuff. And again, as I say, coming from where we were and to today has been an amazing process for me to watch. But really for anybody out there that wants to come see the studios, you should. And again, uh, it's a good welcome. time to uh, remind you that we are going to be having an open house on uh -huh. November 10th, and we'll have the times up and the telephone numbers for contact right. for that. I want to wrap up this segment because we've got a yet a little bit more information to get back to, um, but just wanted to say that it's really, uh, it really is an option. It's, it's, it's here for the public. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned it a couple of times. This is community television. All of this equipment isn't here for John and I to play with. All of right. this equipment is here to bring programming back to the Tahoe Truckee community. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, yes. we want you to be involved in that and be a part of that right. programming. And one of the things is, is you don't have to know anything about it. A lot of people do. I received a letter yesterday uh, from a, a woman in town here who, just a week ago, I mentioned we we're going to do this. And she sent me a whole thing saying, I want in. I want to do this. Here's my resume. She's got she's ideas. She's Brooks, and she's film school, and she's, and she's one of these people. Oh, man, I can't wait to have her helping us out. And there's some people who don't know anything about TV and says, this looks fun. Yes. And this is open for them, too. We will run certification classes, right. um, and they will be run in the evenings on camera, on editing, and then on studio production. So this is available for adults as well. Right? This will be available that's for great. adults. I know we're, we'll be talking more, I guess, the, the last segment on this a bit. But that's the idea, is to open this up to adults in the community, groups, volunteers from groups, or just an individual who wants to make video 
for the community. Well, you think about, about just something. the number of guests that we've had just on this show alone, not mm -hmm. on all the other shows that have ever been produced. And once they actually sit down and get through a show, they're excited about the whole process. Mm -hmm. They want to have, they have ideas, they want to bring things forward. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, a gentleman that we've had on the show a couple of times, Ted Owens, yeah. will be coming in and doing some guest hosting on Trekkie Talks yeah. so that you'll be able it to see somebody you. else over here instead yes. of me. So and it's a bug that bites you. And we will have cameras for loan. That's see, we'll have right. the equipment too. And these, we're buying a couple of new digital, small digital cameras. And then uh, people will be able to get certified and then check those out. Um, and at first, that's actually for free until we decide we have to have some sort of fee to cover something. But uh, then they can come in and use the equipment. So they don't, uh, not only do they not have to know anything, because we'll teach them, we're going to provide them with the equipment. This is tremendous opportunity. Okay. Again, we're talking about what's up inside Channel 6. We'll be back right after this brief break. Welcome back to Trekkie Talks. We're taking an inside look at Channel 6 and the studios with John Eccles. And John, that was really fun, taking the whole tour of the studio. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a kick. There's a lot of equipment there. We talked about the public can get involved, but we didn't talk how they can get involved. So John, let's, let's talk about that for a minute. How does the public contact you? How do they get involved? How do they produce a show? Well, what's going to happen, we should set a short timeline. The public part of this probably won't start up till after the first of the year. Okay. We have a little more building to do in here, and then we're hiring our person who has to write the courses. We're going to write the certification courses, and they're around, so that won't be that hard. But we need to get it in place. So I would suspect around February. That's, that's a, a day we're looking towards. Okay. And at that point, um, but of course, even before, if someone's interested, I should say, if someone's interested in volunteering or doing, they can give us a call, and we're going to put the phone number up later. Um, just call us right here at this high school or at the studio where we have our number, 582-1194. Um, we will be putting the word out, and we'll be, we're going to go to every group in town and present at one of their meetings, for one thing. We're going to advertise in the paper and on Channel 6. We're going to have flyers out to say, come to Channel 6 and learn to produce. Um, and they just call here and say they're interested, and then we'll also be pu publishing the dates of the workshops. So we'll start setting up a series of certification workshops. And they just call and sign up. They're free. That is They're so exciting. And, and a couple of, couple of evenings a week for three weeks, we'll get them through cameras type of, of thing. And a couple of evenings a week for four weeks, we'll get them through editing. So, so how long do you thing. foresee a month or six week segments? In a month, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a month, they'll get their basic camera and editing um, instruction. And, um, and then they're certified. Uh, we can then hand them the equipment and bring them in to, to do the um, editing or the production. And then the studio instruction will be separate. Uh, if they want to produce a show like we're doing right here, they can do that. And, and, and briefly, John, why? why? Why do we want to do this? Why is this being made available to the public? It's a good question. And it is a medium that offers a great deal of potential to communicate ideas um, and um, dreams, uh, pictures of what's happening in the community to the pe people in the community. It can be um, it can be songs, it can be dance, people can host a show on, on alternative views of things going around, uh, going on in town. Hey, this is what we should be doing maybe, and we'll have alternative view programming hours type thing. Um, it's going to be community based, there are rules that people are going to follow um, that have to do with, with libel and slander and what can and can't go on TV, so, you know, th there are those things. But the why is, it's a great way to, to communicate with the rest of the community. It's also a great way to just express yourself. You may not know what you're communicating exactly, but you can say, I want to do a video collage that's based on music and pictures and, is, and, and shows how I feel about this area or an issue. And that may be what it is. So it's a, it's a creative expression as well. Well, that's a wonderful way to think about a medium that sometimes can just make you crazy. They just sell this oh. programming and so much, well, I won't that's go right. to... Well, this is that, not broadcast TV, right. and it's not meant to be. It's right. meant to be uh, grassroots TV. And some of it will look a little rough, some of it's going to look pretty polished, and, and all of those things are fine because um, we're going to get a, a wide variety of ideas and, um, and topics and viewpoints. And that's the why. 
really look forward to seeing a variety of different shows mm -hmm. and uh, ideas. That's if we entice people in here, I think they'll they'll see it, and and we can we will also help a great deal. Mm -hmm. That's another aspect. Mm -hmm. If a group comes in and says, "Yes, we can have a couple of people for camera," well, we'll have people to help produce it, and we'll help them through the scripting and the workshops, and we'll help it happen. We won't just throw it out and then say, oh, you've just got to flounder or, or yeah. sink or swim. In fact, that's one of the ways that we've been uh, providing direction for folks when they call. Uh, oftentimes, I'll get calls and say, gee, can we do this on, on Chucky e. Talks? Mm -hmm. And what folks may or may not understand is a lot of times we have programming scheduled for up to mm -hmm. four to six months at a time. And so it's not timely yeah. to get their show on. I always say contact the studio and, and yeah. see if you can do something yourself, yeah. see if there's a show that you can create yourself if we can't get it on Chucky Talks and or some other form. And, and, and there is a way. And there is a way. There That's is exciting. a way. It is. It's really exciting. Okay, uh, well, let's, let's back up a step and talk one more time about the open house okay. that's going to be happening because there's a lot mm -hmm. that's going to be going on that night, and I think yes. people really need to know what to expect okay. when they come down. It's, a, it's going to showcase the studio and the, the, the processes. So we're going to have students here from the Channel 6 class. There are, will be ROP students. We'll be doing live programming um, for three hours in half-hour blocks. There are going to be music groups. There will be interviews. They'll be able to wander in right in the, into the studio in the set and watch that happening and then go back to the control room and see how that's being dealt with. And um, there's going to be food and entertainments. And the idea is a drop-in type open house for Come in for 10 minutes, come in and stay an hour. We'll have volunteer sign-up sheets and interested people sign-up sheets. So we'll, that's another way people can get in. We'll take those sheets and then do mailings. And again, this yes. will be live so broadcast. It's a live broadcast. And so we'll also be saying, come on down. You're at home watching this. Uh, come on down and still visit. We have another hour to go. And it's going to be at the high school because okay. that's where the studio is. Mm -hmm. And we'll have some signs up, but basically you go in between the district office and the bus garage and come back into the parking area. And that's the high school in Truckee. The, the Truckee High School. And that's and Tuesday? That will be Thursday, Thursday. November 10th. November 10th, excuse yeah. me. Thursday, November 10th from 4 to 7 p.m. Be there and or be, be square. square because it'll be fun. It'll be very interesting to see, I think. John, it's been such a delight to finally have you on this side of the camera. We have worked together for a number of years. You said almost 50 shows. I can hardly uh, believe I that. Know. It's yeah. just so exciting to see what's going on here in the studios. And I'd like to thank you so much for sharing everything that you've done. Uh, I'll try to do this without embarrassing you, but you have really been the driving force behind everything that's gone on in Channel 6. And you've really brought a tremendous asset to the community. So thank you. Well, th thanks. It's been a lot of fun. And just to say, there have been so many people that have worked on this, though. Yeah, there have that, been. That, uh, you know, that have really made it happen. That's too. really true. This is fun, too. I like this side. Uh, we got him on this side of the camera. Now right. we can't make him stop. Thank you for joining us on Truckee Talks. We look forward to seeing you here at the Open House mm -hmm. on November 10th, and we'll see you in the next show. Take care. Hey, Rex. Yes, Bart. I think we need to have a party. You mean like a hoedown? Well, no, I mean more like a, a soiree. You mean like balloons and hats? Yep, that's, that's exactly what I mean. How are we going to do that? For all your party supplies, it's Event Masters, your one-stop party shop. Sure is fun, isn't it, Rex? Yep. Could use a few more people, though. Event Masters. You bring the people, we'll bring everything else.